Hi there, welcome at the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, where the Bachelor Programme Arts and Culture is taught. Between you and me, this is one of my favourite buildings at the University. And that's not just because there's a great coffee place next to the common room. Where was I? Um, arts and culture is centred around understanding contemporary challenges of Western culture in the historical context. You look at how Western society has been shaped by art, literature, media, politics, science and technology. If you want to learn how to really understand complex social issues, this is the place for you. Looking at such an issue from multiple perspectives is central to everything you'll do here. Wait, arts and culture student Anna Priya can give you an example of that. Interestingly, uh, one of the courses we did really uh, worked on the topical issues within Europe that year. So uh, one of the problem statements was about the migration crisis in Europe a few years ago. We not only looked at it from a political point of view, but we really analysed uh, the literature and the cartoons and then analysed this specific problem uh, through uh, literature analysis, through uh, discourse analysis, through the different speeches by political leaders that time. So it really helped us to look at one issue, but from different disciplines within social sciences. Other examples of social issues you study are migration, democracy, globalisation, climate change and artistic reflections on this. If you want to contribute to such enormously complex issues, you'll need to be able to think analytically, connect a variety of perspectives and have strong argumentation skills. That's exactly what you'll learn here. One of the main assets of this programme's graduates is the ability to connect different scientific disciplines. Building bridges, as it were, between philosophy, history, literature and art studies and science and technology studies. So how do you do that? Let's ask Anik Homos, the programme coordinator. The programme consists of two parts. The first year and a half is called the elementary phase and the second part is called the graduation phase. Okay, so what does that mean exactly? In the elementary phase you study the history and the roots of contemporary Western culture and society by starting in antiquity and ending in the 21st century. In the graduation phase you have the possibility to build and shape your own curriculum. In this phase we offer electives in the areas of media, politics, art literature and science and technology. For the Dutch viewers among you, it's good to know that you can do the research and writing skills trainings in Dutch. You're also allowed to write your exams, essays and thesis in Dutch. What's the skills training, by the way? These skill tra skills trainings are often focused on learning research methods, like doing an interview, analysing historical sources or analysing paintings and literary texts. OK, so all the teaching is done in English but you can write your exams, essays and thesis in Dutch if you like. Did you know that over 75% of the students here are from abroad? If you choose this programme, you will study in a very international environment and also with a unique educational system, problem-based learning. That means that you will work in small groups of around 15 students and a tutor uh, who is a staff member of this faculty. And how about going abroad yourself to really have the international student experience? Here in Maastricht you study in a very international environment, but if you want to have more of that, you can also study abroad in your third year. So there are many possibilities to go and visit other universities and study part of the programme there. Choosing a programme often means also choosing a certain future. At this university, we find it important to prepare you for the international labour market. The problem-based learning system helps you with that, as Anik will explain. In this programme, you learn a lot of skills through the problem-based learning approach. In our PBL groups, you learn to collaborate with other students, you learn to uh, take the lead in discussions, you learn to formulate arguments. These are all skills that are very beneficial for your future career. 
uh, the career after you finish your programme. It may seem far away now, but believe me, once you start studying here, it's there before you know it. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun, right? So, where do graduates end up after their studies, Anique? The majority of our students will go for a master programme after graduation. But some of them also go for the labour market, uh, for um, positions in media, art institutions or politics. Well, I guess that's all the essential information I can give you here and now about the Arts and Culture programme. It's definitely worth considering, I would say. Especially if you love discussing and better understanding complex social issues over a good cup of coffee. Cheers! <laughs>